has a disgust for William's love for Middletons revealed in the palace papers. As Prince Harry continues to bask in the sunny confines of Montecito, far away from the regal life he left behind in the UK, it's becoming increasingly apparent that he's not just out of sight, but out of his mind too. His brother Prince William and the Middleton family have been left to enjoy their quaint country bumpkin lifestyle, far from Harry's Hollywood dreams. This preferred scenario seems just as implausible as the moon made of green cheese. Harry has let go of his roots, and it's quite a spectacle. It's nothing short of a royal mockery, the way the Duke of Sussex has shunned the stoic and robust life of his family in favor of showbiz glitz and glamour. Our beloved Prince William, on the other hand, has embraced the simple country life with his wife, Kate Middleton, and her family. He trims the grounds of Ammer Hall, the red-brick Georgian mansion, blending seamlessly with his turnip-toff Norfolk farmer friends. A fitting image indeed. Yet, his younger brother, Harry, appears to have forgotten his roots. His disdain for this bougie family unit and the Middleton's buckleberry world, as reported in Tyna Brown's revealing book, is evident. He seems unimpressed with William's appreciation of their in-law's country lifestyle, which, according to him, bored him to tears. Our eyes rolled in disbelief when we learned that Harry felt displaced by his brother's closeness with his in-laws. Isn't this, after all, the very essence of marriage, to embrace your partner's family and adapt to their lifestyle? It's regrettable that Harry, in his quest for individuality, has lost sight of these basic familial principles. Furthermore, his endless nightlife escapades and strip billiards debacle in Las Vegas have become a bone of contention, rightly exasperating William. It's nothing less than a farce for a man of his stature and upbringing. It's hardly surprising that he's been criticized as the unabated Jack the Lad. Our beloved Prince William, however, continues to bask in the love and warmth of his extended family. He feels at home with the Middletons, whose influence on him cannot be overstated. He cherishes the stability and normality they provide him, a stark contrast to Harry's restless pursuit of public relevance. The Middleton family, commendably, welcomed William with open arms, providing a nurturing and stable environment for him to thrive. Harry could have learned a thing or two from this, but alas, his whimsical, us-against-the-world mentality seems to have clouded his judgment. The royal insiders are nervously watching Harry's reckless behavior, with many hoping he'll come to his senses, but it appears Harry and Meghan's thirst for the spotlight is unquenchable. As a result, the preferred scenario of Harry finding a way to reconcile his differences with the family seems more and more like a pipe dream. Sadly, it's not just his brother William and his in-laws Harry has distanced himself from, but the entire royal family. He's allowed himself to become a distant, disillusioned figure out of step with the royal way of life. While the Middletons, William, and his family continue to keep the royal spirit alive, Harry is busy covering with Hollywood alights, far from the responsibilities he was born into. He's certainly dancing to a different tune, much to our chagrin. In the end, it's Harry who seems to have lost his way in this royal fiasco. As the saying goes, you can take the man out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the man. Sadly, in Harry's case, it appears that both have been expelled with a vengeance.